Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Eco Global Survival, day 11 of my community server. And I gotta be honest, it's a little strange waking up and not having a store to check. I'm trying to go storeless this run. At some point it might break down and just make a store, we'll see. Still don't have a store, I mean, we're 11 days in. <laughs> right, so basically I just, you know, I mine stuff up, I crush it, potentially turn it into sand, I sell that to people. I've been placing a lot of roads. Um, I did some of these, I didn't do all these roads, but I've just been picking away at this road right in front of my place. Like this whole lane here, somebody else did this one. Um, the roads are definitely getting better server-wide. Like it's it's very inconsistent though. Like there's some sections where the road is just done, right? Like the road is just done here, but then like it's not done here. Or like over here, you got this big stretch is done. And you go into this tunnel here. There's a tunnel under here. Like there's no, there's not even stone roads <laughs> where that tunnel is, right? So it's 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 very inconsistent, and that's fine. Um, it, they'll they'll come eventually. Um, so I'm I'm gonna continue to do that, you know. Provide asphalt to the, uh, or provide asphalt materials. Ooh, there's not much asphalt available. Only Darth Arrow has some. So, um, punch for example. I don't, and I, I've been selling to Punch because I know he has it set up, right? Like, he has asphalt queued, and he's buying all the materials for asphalt, right? So he needs sand right now. So I'm going to sell Punch some sand, which should get turned into more asphalt, and then I will build roads with that asphalt. Um, and before I get too far into this video, I just want to throw out a comment uh, on the stream on Monday. I mentioned that... Um, I didn't want to run a server of another game between eco servers. So like between eco servers, the, like between this server and the server before I, I ran an arc server for, for my community and it was fun, but it's, it was kind of a drag always being a server admin. So I mentioned, I didn't want to be in a server admin for, um, somebody had suggested Conan exiles. Um, and I, what I meant by that is I don't want to be a server admin for a non-eco game between eco servers. I did not mean that this is the last eco server and I don't want to be a server admin for eco anymore, which is apparently how some people took that. That's not what I meant at all. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, that's yeah. So that, that's, that's it. That's, I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, so that's the plan for today. Work on more infrastructure maybe possibly build a tier two workshop and get a cement kiln going uh, but there doesn't seem to be a cement shortage well it could be soon though there's only one cement kiln hmm. i'm gonna buy it i think while i'm down here there is a bit of a steel shortage um advanced smelting hasn't been out for it's been out for a little over well, about almost exactly 24 hours at the time of me recording this. Um, and steel, it doesn't come out quick, right? It takes time. People need to remember that. Like, last server, I remember it was days before steel supply caught up to steel demand. Like, days. And it's going to be again. Um, people are especially looking for rebar right now. There's not a lot of rebar out there. Uh-oh. Punch can't. Take this sand, punch is full. What about a hundred of it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what now? What's the plan now, Looch? Okay. So apparently, a bunch of stockpiles are, oh yeah, they're full of, uh, full of crushed. They are full of crushed. Oh, there is asphalt up here. All right. So anyway, it looks like Punch needs to get on and work on his stockpiles a bit. There's asphalt over here, but there's no asphalt in the store, right? Or am I crazy? I could be crazy. <laughs> it's definitely possible that I'm crazy. Yeah, there's no... Anyway, is what it is. All right. I'm still going to stick to my plan. I'll be back. All right, I'm just going to widen this tunnel a little bit while I do that. I think we need to talk about prices. 
I hate talking about prices. It never ends well. Just you know, somebody always gets upset. Um, but prices just run are just ridiculously high on almost everything. Like, I'm not going to give examples because I don't want people to feel like they're being called out. But I mean, I can pick almost anything to use as an example because everything I feel like is really expensive except raw goods, right? And maybe that's because the government store kind of sets those prices. But and look, I know food's a little more expensive this run. I know there's a threat of spoilage, right? I understand that that's probably part of the reason. But like just some of the markups and some of this stuff, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like people are taking the threat of spoilage and using that as an excuse to jack up prices. And look, I mean, I don't I don't care about how much money I have. I'm not a builder. I'm not going to build anything fancy. I don't need money for a build or anything. And I understand some people do, right? So people want money. I get that. Um, but I just I just don't understand. There's, there's things that are literally double the price they were last server. Um, and, and here's the thing people need to think about. This is the food for thought. And this is why I wanted to bring this up. If you're a person, a player, whatever, <laughs> um, who's making like a finished product, whatever it is. And again, I don't want to trying to not give examples because I don't want anybody to feel like it called out. But again, I could, there's so many examples I could give. Um, if you're making a finished product and you log in and there's none of the raw materials you need on the market and no, or nobody's been selling you the raw materials you need. You know why that is? It's because you can't make money selling raw materials or you can make pennies compared to the dollars that people are, are, you know, are taking those raw materials and turning them into something. That's how you make the real money. Like there's no money in raw materials anymore. It's, and I mean, people need to keep in mind too. It takes calories to swing this this axe, right? This pick, right? But if anything, the price of stone is actually lower than it was last server. I mean, it's like literally one cent lower, right? Like every other government store set price is the same as last server, except stone is cheaper, and yet everything is way more expensive. And I know people are going to be like, oh, food's more expensive. Oh, spoilage. But I think that's BS. <laughs> like... I don't know, just the next time there's no raw materials for you, just keep in mind. That's why, because you, you're making all this money off other people's work, right? It, it feels like the real world right now. I like, like seriously, it's, eco is, is um, mirroring the real world, right? The people that are making these finished products, they're like the corporations, the people trying to, to, you know, mine and, and log and farm. I feel like the, the poor people, right? People are just getting rich off, you know, the laborers work. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Again, I'm trying to not, I don't want to be the price police. I'm not going to point out specific prices, but there's some things right now that have like a thousand percent markup and I just don't understand why. Or there's things with a 100% markup. Like, 100% markup is fine on some things that you don't sell or sell very much of. But there's a 100% markup on things that people are selling hundreds of, if not thousands. Ridiculous. Anyway, I just needed to get that off my chest. Um, I, I apologize. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I find I'm cranky a lot <laughs> lately. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, I'm back by the uh, government store here where I had my little claim that I basically abandoned. Um, but I noticed this tunnel, somebody actually worked on it. Oh, and side note, if anybody needs copper, it's copper right here. Um, I'm curious to see how far this tunnel goes. I have no idea who it would have been that worked on this either for that matter. Um, obviously somebody has, oh, and more copper coming up here. Makes me wonder, is there gold as well? <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> Curious, anybody make a claim here? No. Somebody made a claim out here, though. Arthur Arrow has... Oh, what's this? 
There's a boo. There's a ghost. There's a ghost on the mountain. It's not claimed, so I have no idea who did that. Props to whoever did that, though. Copper and gold. Nice. I mean, if you need those things. I don't have smelting set up, so. So this does come out. All right, it goes all the way through. Now I'm curious if there's a tunnel started from the other direction. All right, I want to go check out this, this little ghost. It's a little weird how there's just one little section of grass on biome tucked in here. Right? Like, that's strange, right? To me? I mean, it's strange to me. <laughs> All right, so where's the where's Boo at? We gotta go way further north. There's Boo. All right, probably gotta let the world load. Well, pretty simple, just some bricks. I'm not creative enough to do something like this, though. But I guess you could probably look it up, right? Like, Boo. Pixel art, I guess it would be. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who would have taken the time to do that. Somebody's been out here, though. Like, look, they, this has obviously been dug up. Some crushed copper, looks like, there. But I know Ishmael has, like, an oil refinery out there, but I'm not sure... Not sure how he's planning to get to it. Like, road here? Road here, maybe? Like, maybe Ishmael dug that tunnel? Anyway, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to see if the tunnel is started from this side because I'm curious. I'm curious. And, you know, you know what they said, good curiosity. But I'm not a cat, so it's fine. But yeah, this would be a nice little lakeside retreat. I guess there's people already on it. I think this is Hood and Dora's place. No, this is Thorgrim. Where's Hood and Dora? Oh, Hood and Dora up behind me. Yeah, this is Thorgrim. It's a little bakery. White bricks. I do like the white bricks. I'm a big fan of the white bricks. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> there's supposed to be water there, I assume. Huh. Not sure what's going on there. Not the last Thorgrim. All right, so the tunnel is started, but not very far. What is down here? Is it, or this is the tunnel. Whose place is this? Kitty. And more kitty. Yep, copper and gold mine. Ooh, lots of basalt. I mean, this is obviously doesn't go all the way, but it's close. Right? It's close. That's wild. I did not realize those tunnels have been dug out to that degree. But they have. <laughs> Which is nice. Hey, more the more ways there is to get around, the better, right? All right, so I'm going to go work on some more roads, come back, just kind of update what I've been doing, and then we'll uh, take a peek at some of the cool builds people have been working on. All right, made some decent progress on the road in front of my storage facility, I guess you'd call this. I don't even know what to call it. Obviously, it's not quite done. Got to chop off a little bit there to add some shoulder. Didn't quite finish the tunnel here, but it's getting there. Progress has definitely been made. Um, it looks much different than it did, you know, five hours ago or whatever time I started playing today. Um, so yeah, so we'll get this done. This is my priority, getting this cleaned up. And then this way, this way, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. So this is going to be a split road here, right? So you're going to be able to go up because Sandman and Don have stores up there, or you're going to be able to just drive right through here. I'm just, I'll have to check with, I think Calorie dug out this tunnel or at least mostly dug out this tunnel. I'll have to check with them. Um, uh, judging by the shoulder, like I, I wasn't sure if they were just going to do the normal road setup under here, if they wanted to do more, just something right down the middle, right? But either way, I can start heading this way a little bit. Let's just do slash fly right quick. Um, and you come here, and this is the tunnel that I was working on yesterday. And I did widen it there today. I didn't. I did not put stone roads in where I widened it, but that will come. Um, yeah. So, I'll, yeah, I'll check with Calorie if you're if you're watching. Let me know what you're planning to do with the road here. I can help you out with it. Um, maybe I'll go a different way. I'm not sure, but 
priority for roads going forward for me is for that tunnel, but that's that's not much. All right, so let's look here. What do we got? We got tin tins place here. Some nice black bricks mixed with some red. Looking good. Looks like tin tin is a mechanic, I would say, judging by the equipment. Some windmills up here. Over here, we got Necro's place. That looks pretty empty. <laughs> Let's continue north here. I've not shown any of these properties on stream or on video, stream or video. I don't think anyway. All right, so we got another split road here. I guess, yeah, so this will have to be the split road because um, logging pottery. This is Rico's place, I believe. Yeah, Rico 26. Just basic uh, hewn. Oh. Basic hewn logs, but some nice blue bricks down here. Looking good. Got the truck underneath. So, yeah. So, okay. So, I'm assuming, and I shouldn't make assumptions, maybe Rico's going to move his store down underneath. I'll have to talk to Rico to see, do we need the split road? Or can we just have an off-ramp for Rico to get on and off? I'll check with, I'll check with them. All right. Moving on. I do like the blue bricks, so. Pretty much all the colored bricks look good. Let's be real, right? Got some white and red here. Oh, this is one of Sandman's um, many stores, many cooking stores. Oh, yeah, got a nice little outdoor eatery here. And I do like the white bricks. Looks almost like, like candy cane, the white and red, right? And then next door, we have um, Fruit Farms. This is, um, oh, Blacking Out. Ah, I forgot the name until I... <laughs> Had the mouse over blacking out, and then we got the government store, Pope's End government store. Ooh, yeah, we, you don't see the yellow bricks very often. I use them in my build last server. Um, I went with you know yellow and black as my primary build. Um, but it actually goes with the with the normal color bricks. Like like these are just bricks, right? Like there's red bricks, the colored red bricks, and then there's just bricks. This is just bricks. I would not have expected that to go with yellow, but it does. So, like, this is a red brick. That's a brick. You know what I mean? Like, this is a colored brick from the mod. This is a normal brick that you would get in vanilla, if that makes sense <laughs> to anybody. It makes sense to me. But, yeah. So, this road goes just to the firm. Is this actually a road? Like, is this a road district? I don't think so, right? No. I didn't think so. That's just uh, Black and Ouch Access Road. Fruit Lake beats um, beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. I think there's a sign somewhere that says that right here. Beep beep on a Jeep beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. All right, so let's go north. Ooh, this road needs a lot of work. <laughs> That's the problem, right? You got a full 15 wide road in some spots. You got a barely functional tunnel with no stone roads in other spots right that's why i did the roads i like the road districts early on the way i did hoping to get five wide roads everywhere didn't happen how far does this bridge go so this is i believe philosopher king's uh, place i like the use of the like arches and i'm assuming this counts as closed in i think it's let me double check yeah no it is philosopher king nope <laughs> did not need to hit escape there that looks really good though. I like that. Stores them underneath. Nice. Does this bridge go all the way to the island? Is the question. The answer is yes. Now we got a tunnel. And dug out a bit there. Somebody, oh yeah, somebody definitely has property here. Future site of the Hotel Majestic. That is Oscar King's Hotel. Eventually. Blue bricks. I dig that. What's that? Mortared limestone. Ooh, yeah, that'll look good. That's a nice combination, I think. Overlooking the nice lake. Yeah, that'll be uh, quite scenic. All right, does the bridge reach all the way to the continent here? I wonder. Yeah, it appears that it does. Oh, wow, yeah, the, they really started on this bridge. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not. There is a law in place. Like if you wanted to put like a bridge support, like pillars down, um, as long as it's in the district still, 
Um, and as long as you're using mortared stone to do it, you will get paid the cost of mortared stone. So if you want to make bridges and tunnels look a little better, you do get repaid the cost. Caution construction. Please don't mind unless you have to. This is pretty thin. <laughs> that needs some work. Oh, it's coal. Oh, it's <laughs> secrets out. There's coal there. <laughs> Everybody's going to be descending on the coal. All right, so we are back. We're at the town center here. I apologize if you hear my dogs freaking out. Um, I just want to check out one thing I missed in my video last week. I came down this road, showed everything off, but I missed Krog's Cods like Castle. How I missed this? I don't know, but I did. So let's uh, let's make up for that and go look at it now. We'll teleport. Oh, oh, I thought I fell through the world. Obviously, work in progress. We'll come back and look at it some other point. But it, wow, this is huge, Krog's God. Holy crap on a cracker. This is seriously impressive. Look at this thing. Holy, that's a lot of mortared stone, man. <laughs> Gee, Wilkers. Oh, it's some lumber. Oh, wow. And it is furnished and functional on the inside. This is impressive, Krog's God. I'm sorry I missed this in my video last week when I, when I came this way. My bad. Of course, it probably wasn't quite as impressive then. Still a work in progress, obviously. We'll come back and check this out again because this is impressive. This is kind of kind of insane. I know what my thumbnail is going to be <laughs> for tomorrow. Wow. All right. Yeah. So that's going to be all for this video. A little shorter than normal. I apologize for that. But, you know, just want to make sure everybody knows what's going on. Show what everybody's up to. Keep everybody in the know. Um, big research coming out later this week. Um, everything except electronics, basically. So like industry, oil drilling, um, advanced baking, advanced cooking, composites, advanced masonry will all come out. Assuming the research is done. I know Kitty has been queuing it up and um, people have been feeding the stuff they need. I know. Punch was saying he was making the iron axles there earlier. So that's good. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out the server, uh, link in the description to my Discord. The information you need is there. It is definitely not too late to join. You can still, you know, be productive, be useful, get a feel for the, you know, the server, the laws, the people on it. And then you can join the next, uh, ready to start next time, you know, knowing it's a good fit for you. Uh, most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.